know what? Music is, I, I love music. I mean, I grew up listening to, I, I remember hearing the Beatles and losing my mind. And, and, right. and you, you loved it and it touched a part of you and you wanted to be in it and you wanted to do that. And you get out here and you realize that we have made a business of this. Right. And, and you, you get kind of caught up in it and it can chew a lot of people up, as I was telling yes, Chris Allen. Yes, it can. But if you stay in it and hold on to that love, then people see that. People see that. Well, wait, that's the truth. That's what we're in it for. Well, you know, let's get a little deep here for the listeners because, I mean, I'm so happy to have you here because, I mean, look, you know it so well. You've done it. I mean, you, you are it. So what you just said is very interesting and I think very important because I think a lot of young listeners, a lot of people trying to do this, all these people we have on Idol, yeah. the mistake I think they sometimes made is, listen, Melissa Etheridge said she listened to the Beatles she said I wanted to be a part of that but what she did not do is she didn't go away and say I need to sound like the Beatles yeah, singing exactly. as well mm -hmm. I need to be me sound like me and have my own lane but let them inspire me and I think there's so much sound alike yeah, I well, just everyone has their own voice and it's fear that makes us think that people don't want to hear that that they that because they've like one thing that that's the only thing they're going to like but that's not the way we are that's like food just because you like asparagus doesn't mean you're not going to like you know, artichokes and so right. the title of the album is what fearless love and where did that come about just of your living and experiencing yeah <laughs> okay, we, okay. A, how much time do we have <laughs> yeah. it's um my experience my life i'm i'm at the end of my 40s now and, you know, wow, yeah. you and I are similar age. We're yeah. both 40. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right around there. We stopped at 40. But, you know, having been around the block, having seen it, having kind of under, having been to the top of the mountain and realized that there, there is no there there, there's no you know, kind of uh, what we think of, that it's actually it comes from inside ourselves. And, I've, and, and then having come down with cancer, I, I had an experience with cancer and going through that, really understanding what life is and, and loving life and the choices you make every minute in your life. And that, there, that, that everything comes down to fear and love. And you have a choice in everything. And, I, and I, I'm trying to take what I've learned that choosing love is the most rewarding, amazing way to be and, and live your life. That, that if I can put that in my work and put it out there and, and make it fun and make it rock, yeah. then maybe I, don't know, maybe I could change the world. I don't know.